are so excited that you're joining us for a new series that we're starting. But I have one question before we start anything. Do you know what holiday is coming up? No? Let me give you a hint. Is this helping? Yes, that's right, it's Christmas. One of my favorite things about Christmas is singing and dancing to my favorite Christmas songs. So let's go ahead and start this video by singing and dancing to a Christmas song. This week, we are going to be learning all about the true meaning of Christmas. It's the day that Jesus was born. Let's go ahead and watch our Bible story, learning all about Jesus' parents. The Story of Christmas, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -o. Hi, Joseph. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah. That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, But how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow! So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow! The angel reminded her that 
Nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Huh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You ready? Right? Really? and took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with a son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. I love this Bible story so much. I don't know what I would have done if an angel told me that I was gonna have a baby and that baby was gonna be Jesus. Mary, she was so young when the angel told her that she was going to give birth to the Savior of the world. That's big news. I bet Mary was so scared and so confused and didn't know what was going to happen. But in this Bible story, we learn that we can trust God no matter what, just like Mary and Joseph. And that brings us to our big idea. It's the big idea. Even when we don't understand what's happening, we can always trust God. We can trust God more than anyone else. And we know that because He promised that He's always going to take care of us and He's always going to be there for us. Now let's go ahead and end this Bible lesson in prayer so everyone watching, go ahead and bow your heads and close your eyes. God, thank you so much for reminding us that you're always going to take care of us and you're never going to leave us. Please help us to always pray to you and to trust you even when we don't know what's happening. We love you so much and we pray these things in your name. Amen. Now let's all watch one more bonus video. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve and welcome to my newest show. Now on this show, this is where we take normal, typical, everyday boring things and we take them to the next level. Yeah! Now today, we're gonna take Christmas tree decorating to the next level. Yeah! And I have a friend of mine, he knows all about trees and I asked him, where can I find the best Christmas tree? It seems ludicrous, but he said, go to this parking lot and you'll find the best Christmas tree. So here we are, and according to his direction, this is right over there. Let's go find this Christmas tree. Next level. I can't believe it. It's right here, just like he said. Wow, guys, this is going to be a beautiful Christmas tree. But first, we have to cut the tree down. Now, to cut a tree down like this, you can do a number of different things. You could cut it in half with your mouth. You could saw it in half with like a handsaw. Now on this show, we're gonna cut this down using a chainsaw. You know why? Because this, my friend, is next level! Yeah! 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 Wait a minute. This is a fake tree. This is a fake Christmas tree. It's all right. I know how to bring it down. Next level karate kick. Next level. 
And that is how you take down an artificial Christmas tree next level style. All right, now this tree is going to make a great next level Christmas tree. But you know what's really next level? The Christmas story. I mean, check this out. So here you have this girl, Mary. She's engaged to be married to this guy named Joseph. And one day an angel, an actual angel, came to Mary and told her she was going to have a baby, but not just any ordinary baby. This baby was going to be the son of God. He was gonna be the savior of the world. Now, a couple of things here. First, to have an angel, an actual angel stand and talk to you, that's next level. But Mary was scared to death. Mary wasn't married yet. How could she have a baby? And the angel told her that the Holy Spirit was going to place this baby in her because it was going to be the son of God. And they were gonna name him Jesus. Now, Joseph finds out that his soon-to-be wife is pregnant. He's confused. He doesn't know what's going on here. And he was gonna break off the engagement and just go a separate way. But then an angel came to Joseph in a dream and said, nope, you are to marry this girl, Mary, because the baby she has, it's from God. And he will be named Jesus. He'll be the savior of the world. Joseph didn't understand it. It was very confusing, but Joseph trusted God. Mary, as confused, as scared as she was, she didn't know what was happening, but she trusted God. See, God had a bigger plan. So they trusted God and that, my friend, is next level. That's where it all began. And you know, no matter what's going on in your life, you may be confused about something. You may wonder, hey, I, I don't know what's happening here. Why are these things going on in my life? And you may not have an explanation for it, but I can tell you this, guys, you can trust God and His Word. I don't always understand the things that happen in my life, but I do know I can trust God just like Mary and just like Joseph because God truly is in control. God promises to always take care of us and never to leave us. And that is why we can trust Him. This, my friend, is gonna make a great next level! Woo! Christmas tree! Now, we're not just gonna decorate this Christmas tree with lights and ornaments like everybody else does. We want to winterize this Christmas tree with snow. This is a technique a lot of people might use if they wanna make their Christmas tree look like there's snow all over it. Not here at Next Level, uh-uh. We're gonna really make it snow. This is how you make it snow Next Level. This is a Next Level snow machine. This bad boy is gonna make it snow all over the place. So let's have some next level snow right now. All right, boys, back it up. Let's make it snow. Yeah! Winterize this thing. Woo! That's right. You go this side. Woo! That's right, baby. It's snowing. Yeah! Woo! Woo! -hoo. Yeah! Woo! Next level. Woo! Yeah. Next Level!